Okay, g'day everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop and to create some digital makeup. All right, so first of all, what you'll need is you'll need a photograph um, of this person's face. And what we'll do is I'm just going to open, lock the background here. I'm going to zoom in with Command Plus. And what I'll do is I'm going to create some eyeshadow on here. Now, on a new layer, grab your paintbrush tool and choose a color. I might choose something like uh, this blue over here. And just make sure the opacity of your brush tool is at 100%. And you've got a soft brush, so choose one of these. Or make sure the hardness is down to zero. And again, make the brush size a bit bigger with the right bracket key. And just paint. Okay, paint. Just like that. Go around here a little bit. And that's basically it. All right, it looks pretty bad now, but what you'll the first thing you need to do is to make it a bit more believable is change its blending mode from normal and usually overlay or soft light work quite good. It looks a bit too white. I'll use o uh, soft light. It looks quite nice. And zoom out, and then you can see that effect taking place. I can hide that on and off. Now, what you can do is if it still looks a bit like it's been painted on, you can drop the opacity of the layer down slightly okay and that'll kind of blend it a bit more as well and then the last thing you can do is um, if you zoom right in you can grab your eraser tool and drop the opacity down to about mm, I don't know 10% make sure you've got a soft brush selected and it's way too big just kind of erase the edges slightly like this so that it kind of blends a little bit better with the um, <clears throat> with the uh, with the skin tone underneath. All right, so if I zoom out there, there we go. That's looking pretty good now. It's a pretty rough job. You can um, uh, be a bit more diligent than what I was. Okay. Um, so look, the next thing I'll do is is I'll do the lips, and then actually I'll do some eyeshadow again on the left eye. I'll do the lips and then I'll put some blush on the cheeks, all right? So basically, to do, you need to do each section on its own layer. So the left eye shadow on its own layer, the lips on its own layer, and the blush on its own layer. Okay, so um, because this process is basically the same, uh, I'm going to speed it up until I do the blush because that's a little bit different. So I'll work through it and then I'll speed up the clip so you don't have to sit through it all. Okay, so there are the lips done and the eyeshadows done. It's a bit rough, but you get the idea. Um, I'm going to do a uh, right cheek, get a new layer, and I'm going to put like a, a spot, like some pink blush on her right cheek. So pens, uh, paintbrush tool. I'm going to choose this uh, pink color here. Choose this one. And I'm going to make the brush size really big, and I'm just going to paint like a one spot on there. I'll do the same thing with the other side, um, but I'll do that in a tick. Um, so change the blend mode from to soft light, and depending on the colors, overlay or soft light might work a little bit better. Soft light's pretty good there, and again, the eraser tool. Okay, just to, um, just to neaten things up a little bit. There we go, that's pretty cool. Opacity, down a little bit, and then yeah, that's looking pretty good there. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Another layer. Let's get that brush again. I got the same color, I think. Let's make sure. Spot on there. And I think we went to soft light. Um, I'm going to use a capacity of 70% because I used it on the other layer. The same thing, just to keep it consistent. And I'll get the eraser again and just kind of tidy up a couple of the areas there. Um, so there we have it. Um, so that's pretty easy to do. Um, and you might um, even use your own face to do that on and see what you can come up with. Okay, thank you.